219, possession of ecstasy, furnishing prohibited articles, and carrying the operation of an idle public facility. Your Honor, she has not made application. She's indicated she's going to attempt to hire private counsel based on her incarceration. I'm going to stand in for arraignment purposes, waive reading of the information, or plea of not guilty. Ask attorney status to be set. Hey, ma'am, I'll enter a plea of uh, not guilty in your case and have you reappear on October 2nd at 10 o'clock for attorney status. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right, State versus Dennis Lawton. That's correct, Your Honor. I don't think, did Mr. Lawton apply for a public defender? Right, I think he's going to be hiring private counsel, but we'll help him today, Judge, for arraignment. We'll enter a plea of not guilty to the charges and uh, just have it scheduled on the Division 4 docket, it looks like. I'll enter a plea of not guilty in this case, and we'll have him reappear before Judge Webb. September, excuse me, September 25th at 10 o'clock a.m. for attorney status. State Judge Bradley DeWeese, 14214, possession of methamphetamine, Prizalane, possession of drug paraphernalia. Good, Mr. DeWeese, Your Honor. Hello. Yes, sir. Waive reading of the information or plea of not guilty on case uh, 214. Okay. And her plea of not true on the revocation case 11 20. Okay. Will you be representing Mr. Bayless, representing him? Uh, it'll be assigned to Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, I'll okay. Web socket, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Kind of we'll recall that. That's going to be for plea later today. This case is? This case is. Okay. We'll call your case later, sir. Thank you. 14207, State versus Rory Gregory. Theft, battery, aggravated assault, several other charges. 14161, theft of property. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Let's see, do you have a lawyer yet? No, sir. Uh, it appears, appears that there's conflict of interest amongst, uh, well, Mr. Bailey, Mr. Bayless, and Mr. Cooper. And my mother is trying to, to hire... Your Honor, for purposes of arraignment, um, I've talked to Mr. Gregory and I explained to him what my potential conflict would be. I believe for arraignment purposes, you're willing to waive that conflict and allow me to enter a not guilty plea. Is that okay, correct? Okay, he is. Well, in the file I'm looking at, he has already done that. Okay, so I haven't. I haven't. I, I haven't think been we arraigned indicated. yet. Huh? I haven't been arraigned yet. Well, no, when you were last up. before me, you were. Mister, when remember when Matt Dellinger stood up with you? Uh, okay. Yeah. Today was supposed to be for a bail hearing. Talking to Mr. Gregory, it talk sounded like the he was wanting an extension on the attorney status to the next time the court's going to be here. He's still uh, trying to make financial arrangements to hire private counsel. Let me see if I can see who he is. Arrested. The 16th. We can do that. Um, October 2nd okay. is when I'm here. Thank you, Judge. State versus Christy Newcomer, Newcomer, which is it? Newcomer. Newcomer. Yeah. 14195 uh, forgery. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm looking at a police statement here. Have you gone over this document? Yes, I have. Do you feel you understand what's in the police statement? Yes, I understand. Do you understand the amended charge against you uh, and the range of penalties if you're convicted? Yes, I understand. Are you pleading guilty to theft of property and misdemeanor? Yes. By doing so, you're giving up your right to have a trial and you cannot appeal. Do you understand that? Yes. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes. Okay, and because you're guilty. Yeah. Is that correct? This time, ma'am, I will accept your uh, plea and a judge you guilty, I'll sentence you to 40 days in the county jail. You'll get credit for time served of 40 days. You'll pay $200 in cost, a $500 fine, a $200 public defender fee, a $20 booking fee, and $30 in restitution. Okay. Pay what you owe at the rate of $100 <coughs> per month beginning within 30 days. 
and you make your uh, payments to the uh, sheriff's department here in Baxter County. Okay, thank you. Oh. Michael Pierce, 14197, burglary and theft. There's no action to take on today's date, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, if we're able to work something out, I'll get with your case coordinator and put him on the docket the next time the court's here. Very well. We'll leave it as scheduled, sir. Thank you, Judge. 14163, State versus Timothy Clark, breaking or entering theft of property. Judge, we've reached an agreement in Tim's case, uh, and we will be pleading to the court today. We're just working on some finalizing paperwork. Very well. I'll recall your case, sir. 14115 State versus Joseph Thompson. Uh, <clears throat> possession of methamphetamine or cocaine. Must be methamphetamine. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, Mr. Thompson is here from uh, DOC today. The prosecutor and I are still negotiating this. Hopefully, we can work something out today. So, we'll present it to the court. Very well. Let me call it later. That would be great. Thank okay. you. Okay. 14-87, State versus Christopher Gregg. Possession of methamphetamine, instruments of crime, and resisting arrest. Sir, I'm looking at your police statement here. Have you gone over this document? Yes. Okay. And have you, this is your signature on it? Yes, sir. Okay. You'll speak just a little louder for the report. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you feel you understand what's set out in the police statement? Yes. Do you understand the charges against you and the range of penalties if you are convicted? Yes, sir. Sir, are, are you pleading guilty to possession of methamphetamine, possession of an instrument of crime, and resisting arrest? Yes, sir. By doing so, you give up your right to have a trial, and you also cannot appeal. Do you understand this? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. There's a recommendation in the police statement as to what your sentence should be. Other than that recommendation, have you been promised anything? Have you? <clears throat> that's a no. No. Uh, have you been threatened or pressured in any manner in order you should change your plea? No, sir. And are you pleading guilty because you're in fact guilty? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, you were in your vehicle and uh, an officer uh, detained or approached the vehicle and found that you had in your possession methamphetamine, uh, some pills, and some uh, paraphernalia. Is that what it uh, Yes, sir. Basically happened. Okay. At this time, sir, I'll accept your plea and adjudge you guilty on the felony possession of methamphetamine. You'll be placed on four years supervised probation on the each misdemeanor, uh, you'll be placed on uh, 12 months probation. Let me, let me back up. On possession of an instrument of crime, you'll receive 12 months probation. And on resisting arrest, you'll receive uh, 10 days in the county jail. Have you done 10 days? Nine. Nine. So you got one more day? Okay. You'll be given credit for time served. Now, you're ordered to pay $200 in cost, a $1,500 fine. $200 in public defender fees, a DNA, excuse me, <clears throat> DNA fee of $250, drug crime assessment of $125, and a $20 booking fee. Pay what you owe at the rate of $100 per month beginning within 30 days. You make your payments to the Baxter County Sheriff's Department. Yes, sir. And you'll need to see a probation officer before you leave today. Mm -hmm.